Hello everyone, this is Monday, March 25th, 2024. It's 9.50 a.m. and we got a current temperature of minus one. A little bit of a wind chill, so it's not a real warm morning. But anyway, we're going to do our best to walk around and make a little video. I, I heard, <laughs> I know yesterday's video that I put up, I had some falling trees on North Street and falling uh, hydro poles today. We got a smashed bus shelter down here. We're gonna go explore that right away. It's supposed to be down here beside the, beside the Scotia Square. So we're gonna walk down and have a look. See what they did. Smashed up the bus shelter overnight, I guess. We'll take a look and see what damage has occurred overnight here. We have a lot of strange people around in the world today. Yeah, I see it. I see it already from here. So we gotta show you this. Why anybody would want to smash up the bus shelter when that's a place you can stand and wait for the bus. If it's raining or snowing or the wind's blowing, and you can get inside there and it's not too bad. So what did they do? Come down here and smash it all up. Probably took a baseball bat to it or something. Look at it. I gotta show you this. You won't believe it until you see it. It looked like they smashed all the grass up, or most of it. And it's a long bus shelter. Look. Look. Look at this. You wouldn't believe this unless I showed it to you. That anybody could be this bad. So each, each section of this is about six feet long. And we got one section. And no, I guess this would be the doorway in there. But the glass piled up all along there. Okay. Wow, this is unbelievable. All that glass broken out. Yeah, there's one there too. There was a glass in there. So that one's broken out. Wow. This is this is pretty awful. Look at this. Another one broken out down there. Can you imagine what that's going to cost? I wouldn't, wouldn't want to get be the one that did that and then get caught. It's not going to be a pretty sight. Somebody's going to go into jail and they find out who did that. If they find out. Oh well, that's the way it goes here. The way it goes in a lot of cities. Well, they had the Junos here over the weekend. Some people get excited about it. I, I, I really, myself, it can come and go. And I didn't pay a lot of attention to the Junos, but anyway, the Junos were being held in Halifax this year, and it was exciting in one way because there was a lot of visitors here from other places and a lot of record industry people and news and all that stuff. It's going to be a cold day to walk around. I'm not going to walk too far today. I'm glad I got a chance to show you that destructiveness on the bus shelter there. Well, let's get down the hill. What are we going to do? It's cold out today. I can't walk too far. It's cold, so I'm just going to fool around downtown here today. If you didn't watch the visit video for Monday morning this week, the one that came out, this is Monday right now. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it because on up on North Street, there was a really big tree and we had a hard wind and the wind blew the tree over and it hit the power lines and knocked down three poles. It took out three poles when that tree went down. If you take a look at that, that's not very far into the video. 
I started at Young and Roby and only walked to North Street. And I came across that. Oh, let's look at this. We gotta see this up here. Looks like they're taking down those braces that hold up the, the walls of that building because they, they got the, uh, the other building up to that height now. What it looks like, I might be, I might be wrong. Maybe that's not what they're doing, but there's a crane there with a the cable reaching down. To, they might be just unloading the truck. That might be what it is. <coughs> I'm really excited because that building has been there a long time and those braces holding up the old walls have been out into the street and haven't been able to drive through there for a long time, over a year. They haven't been able to drive through there. So that'd be really nice once you get that, that out of there. No, I don't think that's what they're doing, they're taking it down. Don't think so, not yet. Close though, almost time. You see those braces holding up the wall where they're gonna integrate that right into that new building. And as soon as they can get them fastened into the, the walls of the new building, they can remove them. Then we can open up the street down here. People can drive their cars through here. Well, it's gonna be a while yet, I think. Well, maybe they were doing that today, but no, I don't think so. Let's walk up the hill, we'll take a look at this. This is the press block. From an era gone by when there was newspaper all over the place. There were lots of newspapers here. And they named it after the press block. I don't know if I, a newspaper, the Rude still do have a newspaper here. So, whether it'll move into this area, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm just gonna take a look at this building. And you see the picture over there with the old building. Blends in with the new one, that's the old part. And the new one's gonna be right here. It's going a little bit higher than the old one, so. They gotta go up a little more yet before they can take the braces down. I say at least two more stories. And there's a pile of lumber coming down. And well, what are we gonna do today? I don't know. I have no idea what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go walking across the street. Yeah, you gotta see that one, that one. One big tree took out three light poles yesterday. That was amazing, that was a, they had the street all blocked off there and the hydro trucks were there and all kinds of stuff. And people were cutting with chainsaws, cutting the tree up to get it out of there. And, it was a huge, huge tree. If it would have just snapped the wires, no evictions for musicians. <laughs> this is where the tents were, and they've all been evicted. So somebody with a sense of humor put up a sign, no evictions for musicians. Hiding the tents is not housing. No, it's not. I feel for them. I feel for people that have to spend the, the, the winter out here in tents. Man, that's not living. That's barely surviving. Some didn't survive the winter. Some did not survive the winter. Some died before the, they never saw spring. Not a life that anybody would want thrust upon them. Well, a lot of times things happen. And what are you gonna do if you can't afford rent anywhere? 
Can't pay rent anywhere. What 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 else are you supposed to do? The well, landlords are in the business of making money. They're not gonna let you stay there for nothing. If you can't pay the rent. Now if you're working, have a job. You can't pay the rent. I'll tell you one thing. If I couldn't pay the rent, I could pay for a car a lot easier than I could the rent. Nobody's gonna pay two thousand twenty five hundred dollars for the rent. Alright. I see we're getting a little tiny bit of rain, not enough to hurt anything too much, but next time I stop I'll take my umbrella out in case I need it. For now we're, I think we're okay. Well, I guess we can walk over and see what's going on Spring Garden Road. See what that's looking like. Then we'll continue on up. And I might make my way up to the north end yet today. As All right, uh, do, do you know when you're Because this is Tuesday, and I usually run into my wife up in the north end on Tuesday. So. I might make my way up there. We'll see. But we'll go up to Spring Garden Road first. And then I'll make my way up there. How's that? Alright, Roger Square. We'll cut through here. Looks like they're packing up from the Junos. Putting loading stuff back on the trucks there. No, this guy's doing a delivery. Well, it could be. But I don't know, I think it's delivery. It was quite windy when I first started out, but I think the wind has gone down. Once a little bit of rain started falling, it seems like the wind died down, so should be all right with the wind now. I guess that changes. It could change pretty fast, but so far, not bad. And it just rained enough to get the road wet. Maxwell Plums bar and restaurant right here in the corner. I walk by it all the time, never been into it. I read some reviews on it, it didn't sound that good. So uh, I didn't go in after I read the reviews. Right there, 
real authentic Jamaican food, Jamaican jerk joint. One day I got to try that out because when we were in Ontario, we had a famous Jamaican restaurant we used to frequent. It was on St. Clair. St. Clair and Bathurst area, but down a little bit, like about halfway from Bathurst to the next major, about that far on St. Clair. There was a Jamaican restaurant there. Oh, it was great. They had the best food. We used to go there. For quite a while, we went there every Saturday night and because I, I played there for live, live music and I used to play down there on Saturday night. So we went there every Saturday night. We went early and we had a good feed of Jamaican food before we started to, to play. It was great. They had great crowds there too. Great, great memories of that place. Whether it's still there or it's gone, I don't know. Things come and go. Even things that are doing really well. A few years later, it's all changed and they're gone. So who knows, right? They could still be there. Anyways, we're going to come by Spring Garden here in a second. And we'll walk up and see what's going on on Spring Garden Road. This is the old library I'm walking by now. And at one time it was a it was a courthouse, but I don't know what it is anymore now. I don't think it's anything. Anything this this place was built in something there, 1814 to 1841. Uh, let's get a little closer so we can read that. Because I'm a little bit curious what that is. Okay. Author of the first Canadian novel, French Expression. In 1837, written in Saint Jean, Saint Jean Port Joli, in Quebec. He was born in Quebec City on April 8, 1814. He worked from 1840 until his death on March 7, 1841, in Halifax, where he was interned. It is believed he was buried in the poorhouse cemetery. You okay? The poor owls, that's a, not a thing anymore. Now if you're poor, you're out in the open. You don't even have a house. <laughs> you don't even get to go in a house if you're poor. You have to be on the street in a tent. <clears throat> Anyways, that was, a, that was a night court for a while. I guess I spilled over from the courthouse just over there. And... Uh, I saw this dog yesterday, the black dog coming, I recognize it. I saw him yesterday. What a nice looking dog. Uh -huh, thank you. Oh, it's great. I recognize the dog, I saw it yesterday. I guess I can go. You gotta let me go. All right, Spring Garden Road, here we go. Let's see uh, what characters we can run into down here today. I just had a coffee, so I don't think I'll go into Tim's right now. I'm thinking more of the North End. I'll go have, have a coffee at Tim's later because I want to meet up with my wife up there. She doesn't know yet. I've got to call her. I'll call her after I finish this video, okay? And... I don't want to disturb my video. Yes, it could, the weather can change like really quick. When I started out, it was windy. It wasn't raining. Then we got a little bit of rain. And then the wind stopped, which I'm thankful for because it was really like you could hear the wind in the beginning. And now there's no wind. So it's changed. Changed drastically, but I like the change. It's good. A little bit of water on the street, but not enough to worry about it. I got my umbrella in my backpack. If I have to, I was going to take it out if I stop, but I'm just going to keep going. And if I really need it, I can uh, take it out. 
you don't need it, I'll leave it there. Okay. Spring Garden Road, don't look real busy right now. It's morning, it's early. It's early in the morning, so yeah, that might be the reason. It's not super busy yet. TD Bank, I came by here yesterday when they were doing a, a, an overall of this place, putting up some new, new. I think, I don't know if the glass is new, something new would do, they were doing some work here, anyway. Alright, keep on going. Oh, here's my friend up here, I haven't seen her for a long time. Who is that I see up here? I'm good. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought it was a mirage. Oh, I was down yesterday, but I ended up going to the ER. And I wasn't down Thursday or Friday because of the weather. Wednesday, my nieces and nephew I haven't seen in over 20 years. Oh, yeah. They brought their kids down, so that, and their kids make, brought their kids down, so I haven't I met nieces and nephews I haven't seen, ever met. And, uh, well, I thought it might be the cold weather you had decided to stay home. I've been having some trouble with my hip too, but I had, back when I broke my knee, they, they took a piece out of my hip to fix my knee. So I think it's because of that. They did a bone graft to my knee, but they took the bone from my hip. So now I'm paying for it now because sometimes it bothers me. But uh, yeah, that's like me when my kids were born. Uh, uh, my oldest daughter tore the, the nerve to my left hip. Mm -hmm. the second daughter went to my right half, and they joined together. So when my third one was born, she, where they, they joined, she put her foot right there to push herself out, and let you know both hips bothered. So that's what I thought it was. Wow. Like, I told her, I'm 59, I just figured, you know, the older I get, the worse yeah, I get. Yeah, yeah. I'm refusing to get old. I'm staying young. <laughs> I'm 59, and I forget. And a lot of people look at me and they don't think I'm 15. Yeah. It's by the way I talk and the way I walk. You're only one year away from 70. Yeah. Is that going to feel old? And, uh, seven, uh, 70 and uh, 8 months. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Eight. Ah, it's just a number. It's just a number. It don't mean nothing. Well, I got to I gotta continue on. I got to walk to the north end. Gonna go to hook up with my wife for coffee. She has a break on Tuesday up there. So sometimes I meet her on Tuesday and we hang out for a half an hour or something like that. Well, you guys enjoy, be careful, and I hope you don't get wet. Yeah, I got my umbrella in here if I need it. Yeah. Take care. You too. All right, that was one of my uh, street friends. I have no idea what her name is. She probably told me, but. I don't know what it is, but she's a nice lady. I stop and talk to her whenever I come by here. At Christmas time, sometimes I give her a little surprise. And yeah, she's a, she's a nice, nice person. So one of the ones I know. Don't know them by name, but I know them by to talk to. There's a lot of people like that I know on the street here. That's out the street and I talk or I don't know their names. If they seem nice I talk, I get to know them after a while in a, in a casual way and, and uh, unless they're miserable and nasty then I don't, I stay away from them and don't get to know them. 
I see we got some police activity up here. I love it when there's stuff going on, I can get it into my video. It's always to have, nice to have the exciting stuff in there. We had a police car down here, and we got something going on here. I think they pulled over that car up there in front of them. There, yeah, looks like they're searching it, taking stuff out of the back, or I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing. <laughs> then I thought there wouldn't be anything going on in Spring Garden Road. This is McDonald's right here. I'm not going in. I'm just standing here for a minute underneath this uh, ceiling. All right, let's continue on. As long as it don't rain, I'm not going to worry about my umbrella, but I don't think it's doing much of anything right now. I'm going to just pull my glove off and check. No, it's good. So I'm not going to take my umbrella out and carry it around if I don't need it. All right. So we'll jig jog our way up to the north end. So I'll cut through the park. So that saves us a little bit of walking. And uh, that looked like my my wife's old truck. That. Uh, Midland Courier truck right there. I don't know if it is or that. Maybe. I don't know. No, it's not hers, I don't think. No, it looks different. There's something something different about it. She had the same what kind like that, but there's something different about that one. The silver wheels in the front and, and the painted ones in the back. Yeah, that's a different truck. Because the one she sold, she sold it for the parts because the motor was gone in it. And it was old and needed a lot of stuff. So, so. so we'll cut across and we'll go up through the park, come out the other end, and uh, then we'll make our way to the north end. Maybe I can have a look at North Street and see if that mess is all cleaned up. That, that we saw the other day with the tree down and the poles laying down and all that. We'll just walk by and see what see what it looks like on the way up. All right. Now, we're having a little glitch with our computer at home, so we have to, uh, <clears throat> we have to use a, a, another computer, which I'm not familiar with. We're going to be using that for a couple of times to put my videos up. So, I don't want to make this really long, since we're, we're using somebody else's uh, computer. So, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get our... Uh, Problem straightened out, whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna walk through the park, and then I'm gonna end this video, and then I'm gonna do another video, which will be seen on Friday, okay? Because it's too long to do in one, especially when we're using somebody else's uh, computers that want to, they need it too, so. I gotta try to cut back on time while, while we're doing that. I don't think I have to do that. Maybe more than one, maybe maybe a couple of videos to make you go there. So that's what you have to do. I have to do what you have to do. So anyway, we'll walk to the corner and then I'll sign off. And then we'll just uh, do another video from there. Two part videos. Okay. 
Well, see the trees trim the tree branches back a little bit. Let's see if there's any ducks in the pond today. Yep, I see something over there. There's some ducks. They might have some baby ducks right there now. Should be. Should be some baby ducks. They usually have about somewhere between six and eight, nine ducks when they when they got babies. Didn't see any. It's actually pretty quiet. Maybe they're maybe on they're on the land somewhere. Feel a little bit of wind up here, but not too much. But see the grass blowing there. Now, there is a bit of wind up here, but I got my hood up on my jacket. I can't really feel too much wind, but I don't hear any noise from the wind, so that's a good thing. You can never get too much of the park. Like I walk in here 10 times in the whole season and that don't seem like excessive. It's a fast trip in here today because I'm, I'm on a mission here. I gotta get up to the north end and I'm gonna hang out with my wife for a little bit because she gets a bit of a break on Tuesdays. Almost up to it. I had to stop at one spot there and uh, start my phone again because I had a little glitch back when I shortly after I started, but it wasn't too serious. But anyways, it'll be. Sometimes you can't even tell when I have two pieces, and sometimes you can. Because maybe I walked a few feet or something before I started it again, and you can tell there's a it was off and on. But it's all right; it don't hurt none. We're not we're not professional camera people here. We're just uh, we're just uh, regular people that have a lot of problems with their stuff sometimes. And sometimes not, sometimes it goes good. Sometimes I put the whole video on without a stop. Everything goes good, and other times there's little glitches. All right, out of the park. Out of the park. Now, guess we'll go right across here. This is Summer Street, and that was Sackville Street back there. I need to get across the street if I can. Good. Because they got a they got a traffic light up there. I can get across right now. Made it. Yeah, okay. It's been quite a while since I walked up here. All right, I'm gonna sign off right at this corner. Okay, and then I gotta do another one because it's, like I said, it's a long walk up there. This is already about 40, 40, 45 minutes in my video, so we'll, we'll uh, stop it on this corner. That Veterans Memorial hospital. Stop right there. Mm. 
And there's Senator Hill right over there and from the sports venues there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to push that like and subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, my thanks to you. And all the people who make comments, that's great. I love it. Don't, don't stop. Keep doing it. And uh, with that, take care. Be safe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.